Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to help teachers transition from Jamboard to FigJam. Today, we're talking about sticky notes. So in Jamboard, we have our sticky notes. They are available in six colors, and I am a little bit limited in the amount of characters and sentences I can put in a sticky note. And when I type them, I don't see the name of the author. All right, so let's look at sticky notes in Big jam. So let's zoom in on a sticky note and I'll start typing my thoughts. And right away, you'll notice a couple things. One, my name appeared because there is a setting by default that it shows the author's name. Additionally, I can change the color to one of nine colors. So that's really nice. And I have all sorts of formatting options, including the ability to make it bold right there. How nice is that? And I can add hyperlinks. So that's pretty useful as well. One thing I love about sticky notes in FigJam is that when you click on a sticky note, if you click any of the four sides, you have this plus button. So you can add a plus and you can add more sticky notes and build on thoughts. One last really cool feature is if you want a sticky note to be a little bit more landscape, you can do that as well. Sticky notes in FigJam are really great for gathering thoughts and giving feedback. Before I go, I do want to shout out my partner, Figma. If you want to get started using FigJam in the classroom, go to figma.com education. If you want to take advantage of their amazing templates, go to figma.com slash at education. And if you want to try out FigJam sticky notes right now, type figjam.new in your browser. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy transitioning from Jamboard to FigJam.